This video is uh, for Sam at Tree Claimed. Um, it's really to show you, Sam, how to sort your products out, how to add them, add them to the categories and things like this. At the moment, I've got all of your products here on the products page, but I will separate them up into categories on the front of the site. As I normally do, I have one tab open on the front of the site up here, <coughs> excuse me, and one where I'm logged in at the back. Now, on this left hand side margin, you'll see WooCommerce, which is the e commerce that we use. The one that you want is products. Under products, you've got all products and you've got categories. If I just show you, I click on categories. I have actually already made three categories there for you. Um, to add another one, it's really, really simple. You'll see here, add new category. You put the name of the category in. Don't bother about the slug. That's the used in the URL or the website address. Um, you can upload and add an image as a thumbnail. Uh, when you've made the new category, you just add new category. But I, I would need to do a few bits and pieces to the site if you add any more categories. But I think for now you're okay with just the three. Okay, so go back over to products and you've got all products. Click on that. <coughs> and you'll see there all the products that I've done so far. Now to edit any of them, I noticed in your email that you sent over the weekend we saw the owl silhouette and the small feather so you need those deleted okay so if I go back to this uh, right I'm actually not sure which ones those are Sam uh, the owl silhouette and the small feather well you've got two feathers there um, I'm a I can't guess that one, so I'm going to have to ask you that afterwards. But for now, it's going to be that's the silhouette I'm guessing there of the owl. Let me just check on the front hand cut app. Yeah, that's the only owl we've got, so that one. Okay. So what you would do is when you hover over the title you'll see these little um, links come up below it <clears throat> just click on quick edit that will open this panel up move the video thing out of the way you'll see here that the status is published what you would do click on that to open the drop down and you change it to draft the reason I'm changing it to draft and not deleting it is in case you get another one in and you want to, to put that back on. If you've got no intention of that, then we'll just delete it. But for now, I'll just do it as draft. And you click the button down here, update. you see that says draft. While you're logged into the site, you'll see, still see it on the front. But when you're not logged in, it, it won't show at all. If you actually are finished with that product and you want to delete it from those small drop uh, links, you just click on trash. But I won't do that for the moment, just in case. Right, so I'm going to add a new product. So up here, add new product. What you'll see there is product name. So it's a hand cut wren in walnut. Okay. So copy that, paste that in there. Don't bother about putting it, anything in this big block here. Scroll down the page until you come to product data. It's a simple product. What that means is there's no variations. It's just a, a simple product with a single price. And that price is 325. 
so that's exactly what you would put into there you don't need to put the pound sign then you go to the product short description you'll see there you've got visual and you've got text I always do them in text because the visual is what you see is what you get and trust me it isn't always so what I'm going to do is copy and paste this part of it uh, this text here that you've got I've actually put a general text on each of the pages so you don't need that there uh, Sam okay so copy that I'll paste that into here on the text side uh, take the price out because we've already got that uh, yeah that's fine and you'll see it's just like using um, a word document you've got your space there so you've got a gap between the lines right now you go up to here got to on the right hand side you set a product image and you add the product gallery images so what I'm gonna do is this is just one product that you've got here so I'm gonna save all of those into a folder on my computer uh, in fact no I'm only gonna have to save them one at a time um, Ren one will do Rain four. So we've got four images there that we save on our computer. First one you do is set your product image. That's the main image that you'll see. Let's click on one of these other ones. Uh, hang up. Oh, I hope even that's not there anymore. Right, okay. That's your product image. So set product image. You go to your media library where all your images are. We don't have those ones yet, so I'm going to upload the files. Select files from my computer. I'll take all four at the moment. Select all four and add all of them up. Obviously, I'm only going to use one for the main product image. You see they're uploading at the moment. So I'll add that first one. You can change all these after Sam, it's just I'm using it for now. Uh, green button down here, set product image. And you'll see that image will appear there. Then add product, product gallery images. So those would be the other ones that are down here, the thumbnails. So I'm gonna select all three. To do that, hold down your control and shift key on your keyboard to select all three. You can do it one at a time. Add to gallery, you've got the three there. Okay, next thing which is also important is um, your product category. So accessories and gifts, furniture or wall art. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Um, I'm going to put it as wall art for the moment. I'm sure it isn't, but you, again, you can change that sound. So that's your product category, and you go to the green button and press publish. On the tab on the front of the site, if you refresh, go back to the products page. 
and you'll now see the hand cut wren walnut is there okay and that's basically how you do that I kept it quite simple uh, right, uh, okay now if you want to edit any of the products at all you just click on the title to open them it's the bottle openers and you'll see there exactly as I showed you with that one how everything is is assigned to it uh, you can change the price there you can change the description change the images and always update at the end and that's basically how you do a simple product now the other one that you sent which I'll do shortly for you small leaf bowls so you do exactly the same procedure as I did for the wren let's um, add a new product I'm not going to do all the images and everything for this video but just to show you so small leaf bowls small leaf bowls I'll just put the product short description in and they're £20 each now what you wanted to do was have the different types of wood so they can choose from that so under your product data it's not a simple product it's going to be a variable product so you click that from the drop down the first thing you do is attributes custom product attribute so I'll add that you click both of these check both of these visible on product page and use for variations you have a name so what would be best for this uh, I'll call it timber that would show up like color or size or something like that this is the important part for values so you have to type in what have we got here we've got uh, beach so you type in beach and then you have a space and you use the pipe uh, key on your keyboard where that is is the one that's at the top of the forward slash next to the Z then you do another gap another space rather and you put the next one in and you do it exactly as it's going to appear utility space pipe another space I think this is Iroko and Oak Okay. Iroko. Oak. I think there's one more and that's oh no that, that's it basically okay so we've got three so we don't need that pipe on the end when we've got all of them what you do then is you save the attributes using that button then you go oh, when it's finished saving it you go to variations under the attributes add variation click on that what you want is create variations from all those attributes then click go yeah so there are four variations added click OK and you'll see them there now what you have to do is you have to open each one separately or well, hold on uh, set regular prices so we'll click that in the drop down click go 20 pounds okay. and what that will do is add the 20 pounds to each one if they were different prices you would do it manually 
just clicking in the box to open it let's see beach and you'll see there it's got a regular price you can also have the image specifically for beach which I'll do after so that when people someone selects beach it will show that image same with the others now when they're all done you would then obviously you have your, your categories and things there it's an accessories and gifts I'm not doing the images just yet because it take too long on the thing but exactly as I did for the simple product and then you click on publish and I'll just show you without the images what it would look like so go back to the products page small leaf bowls and you'll see now that it's got the price of 20 pounds but you've got choose an option and you choose which timber you you would prefer it in and that's it basically um, anything else to show you not at the moment now i've got to speak to you about the payment methods and things like that sam but um, i just thought i'd do this first